going to around the back, I'm trying to go behind, okay? With the car, go behind, <clears throat> spin around. But when I'm over here with the two uh, forearms, I can come around the corner on either side because I have the ability to, right? I'm going to stick my knee to the inside. Let's see, I shoved my knee inside. Okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to pull my opponent's hips. Let's turn the Okay, so in this case, the knee's butt was to his heel. I would love to grab his shin. Sometimes I can grab the shin and the toes, like on your toes, buddy. That particular stance makes it real easy. Yeah? But if he's on his here, even I, and I can't quite get all the way around, you could just take a little bit of a bump, and that's all it takes. I'm gonna step on the calf, pull back, and put my open. Don't let go of this. Just stay here with this. My leg is triangled, and my other one's on the floor. Do not do this right now. And you can stick his leg inside my leg and pull me open all that stuff, right? So I don't want you to do uh, the stretch. I want you to triangle your legs and go from there. So I go around the corner. And I, even when I'm around the corner, I'm pulling Shaheen this way. And now he's got no space. I would love to just get this crotch grab. I don't ask for it for Dave Rock for the S. I would love to just grab that. But if he's tight, I just do a little bump and then I'm there. Okay, and I can grab him. If he's on his toes, shoelaces and shin. Okay, not double shins because they'll kick out and you won't be able to have the grip, you know, in different places too. So the laces really helps and the shin helps. Again, I'm gonna step on the calf, stretch him out. See how his calf stays on the ground? It's not up in the air like this, his calf stays on the ground. I throw my hook in, and I try on my legs. Now, once we get here, I'm actually gonna move my grip down to the toes. Right, just so he can extend. And you're strong, you're trying to stand up. Okay, come back. Now can you do it? No. Right. So I have to go to that end of the ladder. In the beginning I got the laces, but I couldn't grab the toes because his toes were curled on the ground. So when you get back to this position, I'll just adjust a little bit and come down to the toes. And now I'm chilling. Okay? Again, I'm here, and basically it's almost like I have a seatbelt right here. I come around the corner, and I can either do the bump and grab, I can go straight to the grab, or I can grab shin and, and laces. I step on his calf, I spread him open, I throw my hook in and try into my legs. Okay? If you do the shin grab, then go down to the toes. I do not need to go down to the toes if I'm here. I have banana splits and back takes, I don't need to leave this grip. Okay, so grabbing the toes is only if you grab the foot in the beginning, right? Does that make sense, guys? Okay, so you're gonna shut by and drive your knee in. It's the same concept as driving this knee in when I'm here. It's the same, same concept when I'm here. Now I'm facing his hips and his legs. I'd like to put my weight over his hips. If I put my weight over his back, I go from the, away from the grip and his hips become light, he can posture up and stuff. I want to have my weight over the hips like I'm like this. Okay? This time I reach. Ooh, ooh. Good to go. Yes. Two times and switch. Ready, set.